A gunfight foiled in a crowd of a thousand plus people. Tonight, Lodi police confirming they stopped a group of gunmen seeking to shoot rival gang members at a Lodi Halloween themed event. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Tony Lopez and I'm Elizabeth Kling. CBS 13 Steve Large is in Lodi with a close call and grateful organizers. Well, this all played out here in downtown Lodi. People gathered shoulder to shoulder, none of them aware of the arrests that may have saved lives. Mostly I'm grateful for Lodi police being so diligent and swift. A real life scare at the zombie walk and Halloween fair in downtown Lodi. It's like, oh God, you know, this could have been bad. Jason Shalinski is one of the organizers of the family friendly event that saw its biggest attendance ever Sunday night. More than a thousand people. Cell phone video shows the huge crowd dressed in Halloween and zombie attire. And everybody gets dressed up and shows off their costumes and makeup skills and, and has fun just kind of roaming the streets. As the costumes crowd partied, police got a tip. Four gunmen were arriving at the event and planned to look for rival gang members to target. Officers found all four within minutes, taking three into custody. One was able to get away in a car. Officers seized a shotgun and a handgun. Anytime you hear of a tip of that nature, you have to get into action, and that's what these guys did, and um, that's that's the best result you could hope for. Mayor Mark Chandler says the investigation is not over. The zombie walk in Halloween Fair has become a Lodi civic staple over the past decade. Now this close call with gunmen and gratitude for an anonymous tipster and fast-acting officers preventing a senseless shooting. Everybody's got to be more diligent these days and, uh, you know, keep their eyes open. And if they see something funny, call the police. And Lodi police say the two suspects who remain in custody are 18 and 17 years old. A third suspect was also a juvenile and was released at the scene. That fourth suspect remains on the run. Well, this comes nearly seven months after a deadly gang related mass shooting in downtown Sacramento. Investigators say at least five gang members opened fire on K Street back in April. The shooting left three innocent people dead, along with three of those gang members as well.